break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let So hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me out on the bank and with me little lad Joshua and we're in search of carp. So the water that you join us on today is Spring Pool. It's one of the limb anglers waters and it's on the Lake Lane complex. During the week we were talking about what we were going to do at the weekend and Joshy said he wanted to catch Mr Carp. So today we've come to the Lake Lane complex and this venue does contain some carp between five and 15 pound but there are a few surprises. There's some grass carp in here, Mr. Bream, and there is Mr. Catfish as well that does go to £40. So there's plenty of surprises in the venue. And today we're just hoping for Mr. Carp, aren't we? Yeah. If we can get Mr. Carp, we'll be happy. So before we do get into the video, me and Josh, just want to say thank you to everybody that leaves the nice comments on the channel. Especially the ones where I bring the kids along. The last one when we were on um, Village Pool, when it really did rain, didn't it? Yeah. But we caught Mr. Perch at the very end. So really, thank you everybody that does leave the support on the channel. It really is appreciated. Let's waste no time at all. Let's have a look at the setup and how we're going to approach the swim. So conditions today, it's about 9 degrees. There's a bit of a breeze on, a bit of rain due, as you can see. You know, in the clouds. Nicely set up with the shelter. Josh has got his chair a little drink just to keep the wind off and there's the rods we're all set and hopefully it won't be too long before one of them rods screams off one thing about these pools is you've got to be quiet when you're going round them so i'm just going to go and put a little sprinkle in the bait over that far bank rod and we'll take a look at the bait and stuff like that but the most important thing like i'm doing the talking here is you've got to really tiptoe around these venues you know, they are small and intimate. And one thing I've learned over the years is you've just got to have that little bit of stealth about you. And that is the mix that we're going with. You can see in there, we've got a couple of grains of maize, some hemp, and a few tears. Uh, when I come, I literally just put a few, probably two or three handfuls like that over the top, mainly hemp, and a few grains of the maize over the top. And there's a lovely little duck nest over there, which you can see on the screen now. And that's the adventures that you see as you walk around the pool. Now there's plenty of small fish just topping in the pool around this area. So hopefully the target today is Mr. Carp, Mr. Bream and Mr. Catfish if he's awake. I've just got the rods in. In this case now just sitting back, chilling out and hopefully we can get the first carp of the year. Well, the left hand rod is just gone on the pop up over that little bit of particle and just help Josh around this rod a little bit. But apart from that, how you doing? Yeah. What we'll do is now we'll try and get it in and we can just take a look at the first fish of the day. Are you happy? Yeah. Gary's just turned up, so we'll have a day on the bank. So there we go, what a lovely fish to get us off the mark. A pool that I've not fished before, and yeah, he did really well playing it. You know, letting the drag go and keeping that bend in the rod is really the lesson that we're learning today. Just coming over that little bit of particle that we put in at the start and we'll take a look at that in a minute. So let's get it straight back, get it up back on the spot and who knows, eh? You reckon we'll get another? Yeah. Fingers crossed. Let's get it straight back. So while we've got the rig out of the water, we'll take a look at the simple setup. Got some tungsten loaded tube in, a simple little one and a half ounce lead, a lead clip, some tubing just to get a bit of separation. We've got some of the coated braid with just a little bit of it Cut back at the end under there we've got a triple a dinsmore shot and then i always put the putty over the top so it's like belts and braces and then we've got one of the cherry bonbon pop-ups with two pieces of fake maggot and a size six hook nice simple setup what i'm going to do now is i'll put a bit of the particle over the top and we'll take a look at that and joshua well he's just lining up the two teddies to keep an eye on the rod you having fun and that's the most important thing, isn't it? Got a beautiful wind on the venue today. Some of the cutting back that's gone on here has really opened it up. And venues need wind, it adds oxygen. I did think the right hand rod would be the one on the PVA bag, but we'll put the rod back out. And if we get another bite there, it might tell us that we need to 
attack this back line, maybe with a PVA bag rather than in the middle. Well, let's get the rod back out, and hopefully, you know, we've had a nice early bite, we can get one or two more. So I'm just going to go over there now, and I'm probably going to put in about that much bait. I ain't going to go mad. They say we're fishing for bites. We've got one quite quickly, so I'm not going to go too mad. You know, there's quite a bit of hemp in there. There's a lot of small roach in the venue. Of course, there's bream, carp and catfish. And just feed for bites at this time of year. It's about 10 degrees, so it's not going to be too warm. Just going to put a tiny little bit more bait in. Probably about that much. And then we'll get the rod back over the top. So the rods that I'm using is my simple go anywhere Corden XTND rods. They're always there in the house to pick up in the hold all and they pack down nice and small and they're perfect for the little venues that are on limb waters got reels loaded with 15 pound barbel line now that seems a bit excessive on here but there are catfish in here up to 42 pound and there's a few of them so yeah although we are catching carp if we hit one of them we'll need that back up and the rods are nice you know soft action to them so them small carp that we're catching are great for Joshy to learn on and yeah we've got the belts and braces there in case we hit something big nice simple setup I've got both rods back leaded in case we do hit you know a bigger fish then Joshy can just play the fish in front of us but it also does allow the movement of fish through this area there's no lines going through and hopefully it's going to help us get a bite that rod's been out there for a bit now, so I'm going to recast that one, make sure it's not tangled. So the shelter proving valuable today. The rods are back out, bit of rain coming down. Not had any signs on that right hand rod so far, just in line with that stump. It is on one of the seafood dumbbells and then pellets. You can just see a little fish just topping over it now. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it a little bit longer. I say I do like having rods in different areas. That is literally, you know, in open water. Maybe it might be worth going round. Maybe putting a bit of bait over the top. You can see another fish just topping over the area. So when it settles down a bit, I might just go out there and recast that right hand rod. You know, put another PVA bag out. Just thinking about moving the PVA bag, and that one's gone off as well. And the carp in here, probably between five and fifteen pound. So. Nice little ones for him to learn with. You see there. We'll get the net out and we'll get it in. So the second fish of the day, and how about that for a lovely scaly carp? And like I say, the pool has got a number of fish in at this size. Just a nice size for Joshy to learn with and sit and relax and have a chilled out day's fishing. And of course, there's them big catfish that are in here as well. Might have to warm up a bit for those guys to feed, but you never know. But what a lovely fish that is, eh, mate? You made up? Yeah proper made up the setup on the pva bag got the tucked and loaded tube in i've got a small little inline lead short little hook link down to one of the seafood dumbbells from hinders so at the start of the season i put together my pva bag mix for the season to come in there i've got some of the little gem small pellets i've got some of the crushed pellets in there i've got some of the simple six mil pellets that you get from fisheries just to add a bit of variety and i've got some of the um crushed tutti frutti boily powder as well what i'm hoping to achieve with that is lots of different breakdowns lots of different attraction and them little bits are really going to fill the holes in the pva bag to make it nice and tight so there we go there's the finished pva bag you've seen loads of videos on the internet on how to do them it's a trap that works most definitely and it's worked for that carp so let's get it back out there. The fish have had a good feed and it's time for me and Josh to have a bit of dinner. It's been about two hours since I bite on it. Been a yeah. bit quiet. Yeah. But we've had some, haven't we? It's been good. Just looking out, conditions wise, it's still a bit windy. The rods are a bit quiet, so we're just going to have a bit of dinner. And that sun's coming out a bit now, so there's every chance. So fingers crossed we can you know, get one or two more bites. But either way, it's just good being bankside, isn't it, Macy? Yeah. Hard week in work and a hard week in school. Yeah. To get some dinner and get the rods back out. I've recast the rod on the PVA bag back on the spot. Just trying to build a bit of an area. Got Joshy sorting out the mix. I've got a new friend. <laughs> What's his name? Rocky. Rocky. Does he like boxing? Yeah. yeah. 
a bit young, eh? Don't think he quite got that. <laughs> Long after doing that piece of the camera, the right hand rod on the PVA bag that we've just recast has beeped away. And when it's daddy's turn, <laughs> it's Mr. Bream. Isn't that always the way? And there we go, Mr. Bream. And unusually, he has got some tubercles on his head, which does seem very early in the year for that. In excellent condition, considering there are some catfish in here. You would think they'd definitely be on the menu for one or two of them. But good to get a bite, and not surprisingly, it's come on the rod with the pellet on as well. Mr. Joshy catching the carp, and Daddy catching the bream. The session does come to an end there now, and we did manage to get Mr. Carp on the bag, didn't we? Yeah. You enjoy it? Yeah. We had plenty of fun putting the shelter up, putting the rods out, and we managed to get one or two bites. This period of the year now is difficult when the rivers close and the waters, you know, are starting to warm up, but are not quite there. It is all about just getting a few bites. So it has been really enjoyable just getting out on the bank and getting a few bites with me little lad. We want to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing and we'll catch you all next week. Tight lines. Tight lines.